in after day. <laughs> Hey guys, and I've been here, and today we'll be reviewing the app Sketchbook Mobile. This app is two ninety nine in the App Store, and its current rating is four and a half out of five stars. Welcome to Sketchbook Mobile. Do you want to take the quick tour? Let's skip it. Uh, let's just say before I start this, let me just give it really what it's used for. This is like the Photoshop of the iPod. It's the best like photo like not photography but like image editing painting software I've seen like the best app I've seen so far. Um, it's made by Autodesk. They're a very popular company for designing and stuff. And, um, yeah. So, start off the app, you just have a white canvas. Click this little circle down here, this is your menu tool. So, here you go. You have all your tools and stuff. Let's just start off by going one by one. You have a pencil tool. So, we just draw. And there we go. This is a normal pencil tool. You can, uh, hold the center. A little thing will pop up. See, so it says 3.6. And you can choose how big your brush size is. So, let's go 7.4. Hit the menu button again. And there we go, bigger size now. Um, next we can do the spray paint can. Uh, you see it's not that dark, but if you go over it a lot, it gets darker. And that this is like the best tool for effects, I think, is the uh, spray paint. You can really make something look really cool with the spray paint with on it. Uh, yeah, so um, so delete whatever you have. Just double tap the left top left corner. Um, next we have just a normal paintbrush tool. That's like normal in every app. So, uh, make a little line down it. I don't know. Erase that. Um, next we have the eraser tool. So let's just draw something. And let's take out the eraser tool. Erase down there a little bit. Maybe you want to get the brush size a little bit bigger. Put it up. And there you go. Just delete some stuff. Um, Yeah. If you click this bottom one, this takes you to the brush menu, and uh, hit brushes. These are all the brushes they have. Um, these are your menu brushes that um, open up when you hit the menu, and these are other ones down here. And if you double tap on one, it gives you a preview of what it looks like on top. So um, that one, this, let's take this one in. You can also edit the brush, the radius, the min, max, the, um, see that one? Oh, let's go down, that looks cool. Like that, uh, opacity, let's turn that down a little bit. And actually, let's turn the spacing up a bit, too. Actually, you put it down. That looks pretty cool. So now you just hit back. And now, you'll be able to draw like that. Which I think is really cool, that little style. I might try to save that one. So double tap the left, top left corner to uh, erase it. Back to the menu. Now you have layers, so um, let me just draw something like a little face. And uh, let's go to the layers. Come on. And here, layer one. Click this uh, little add button to add new layer. Layer two now. And now you see you have this one, and you can also import from your photo library. See, I'm not going to do that. Um, click this little eye thing, you can hide the layer. So you can hide layer one, go to layer two, uh, it'll hide it. I guess draw something. I don't know what you would draw. Um, go back. Layer. Um, put layer 1 as seeable. So now you have them to both layers. And now you can also merge them. Merge. And there you go. Now the layers are merged. But um, that looks ugly. I don't really want that. So um, now you have the color palette tool. Um, you can choose a color from here or you can go into the color wheel. Hold on. Come on. Alright, cool. Wheel. Now let's pick a... Actually, let's pick an orange. A lighter orange. And there it shows your previous color with your new color. So once you have that, you can just hit back. And then it will show up. Um, I'm going to actually take out... the. This is another new tool. So let's take out... Sorry. Uh, spray paint. And you see this little mirror thing? Let me try to zoom in on it. That right there, it mirrors your whatever you draw on one side to the opposite side. So I'll show you that. You can either toggle it on or off. So let's keep it it's on right now, I believe. Yes. So what we do is we go down. You can't really see it, though, because I'm using spray paint. 
darken it up a little bit. And there it mirrors your object. This is the most fun tool that I like on here. See, it mirrors it. This is really cool. Uh, draw a line, go back up. Delete this, let's just draw something else. Um, I don't know, let's draw an A. Then I guess they meet in the middle. So, yeah, that's this app. Uh, let's go through just one more thing. The menu, you have Add, Gallery, and this little question mark. The little question mark just tells you double tap corners, clear layer, and fit to view. Tap, um, tap hold for color picker, undo, redo, preferences, overview, and just a lot of helps things. But that um, color picker, hold on, let me just show you an example of that. Just draw something of that color. Mix a little red into it. And then if you hold down, you can hold down for a little bit. I don't know why it's not working. Hold down. There we go. And now you can just choose the color you want without switching. So let's choose just that color again. And then we can draw in that color again. So go back to the menu, and then you can hit this little Add button up here. Hit Add. Save or don't save. I want to save this. So now it's just restarts with this blank canvas. Go to Gallery up here. Then I have all my saved photos. So this is one I did, which I think was pretty cool. Uh, gallery again. And this is the one we just made. So then uh, I don't know if there's actually saved to your photo like your photos app, but uh yeah, you can easily just take a screenshot of it if you want it as your background. Uh let's take this one. You can just take a screenshot like that. Or there actually might be not add. I don't want to add. Gallery. Go back to this. And then I don't know what button I pressed. Oh yeah, export the photo library and email. Let's export it. And now it's exported. So that's the app. I definitely recommend this if you like um, drawing stuff. You can also just go into landscape mode if you want, I guess. And uh, this is a very, very good app for uh, drawing. It's really fun. Uh, two ninety nine. You can't go wrong with that price. That's really cheap for an Autodesk type software. Um, this is just like photo, like this, kind of like the Photoshop of uh, the iPod. Uh, recommend this for just really anyone. This is really fun. Um, yep, so remember, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, send an email to com. Follow me on Twitter, I guess, twitter.com slash daily app reviews. If you follow me on Twitter, I always update what I can't re when I can't review and what I'm doing and stuff. So if you guys want to stalk me, you can go in there. Um, that's it. Bye, guys.